Hi and welcome to our field kitchen. Today we're cooking up oobleck. Now oobleck goes by a few different names such as slime or magic mud. Um, it's basically cornstarch mixed with water. It's also sometimes referred to as a non-Newtonian liquid. It's got the unusual property that when you apply stress to it the viscosity really increases and when you release that stress it turns liquid again. Here is a good example of it. So if you hit it really hard, it resists, but if you press slowly, it allows the spoons to sink in. <laughs> so for the first flight, we made up a thicker batch and see how it would behave. So here we're pouring it into the rocket. Now this took a couple of minutes because it's just pours so slowly. And then we put on the nine millimeter nozzle. And finally onto the launch pad. Now we're using our old launcher for this because we knew that it was going to be pretty messy. And here the rocket's ready to go. And as you can see, it was pretty easy to pressurize. There was just cracks that opened up in the oobleck to let the air come through. So that wasn't a problem. And so here's what happens when we pressurize it to 120 PSI. Two, one, go. Wait, it's fully pressurized. It'll take off. <laughs> we think that the compressed air in the hose helped push the rocket out of the release head, but with the internal pressure pushing on the oobleck, it only started forcing it out slowly. Although the parachute deployed at Apogee, there really wasn't enough airspeed for it to fully inflate before it hit the ground. But no damage was done, so it was ready to go again. Now after landing, it was quite interesting to see the clumps of oobleck inside. Uh, we've got no idea why that happened, why it looked like it was dry lumps of it. Okay, so cleanup wasn't as straightforward, but with a little bit of water that was fine. So on the second try we added a bit of food colouring and made the whole solution a little bit more runnier to see if that would affect the performance. And here you can see that it's a little bit easier to pour into the rocket. And then back on the pad. Now we made sure that the brake wire was pretty slack so if it was going to do the same thing again that it wouldn't deploy the parachute when it popped off the launcher. We had to wait about five minutes for all of it to drain into the lower bottle. And so here we go again at 120 psi. Three, two, one, go! Now the rocket just sat there and kind of sputtered jumping up and down. Now we've considerably sped up the footage here. And you can see it was pretty much an air-only launch. Uh, there was really no oobleck that came out during the thrust phase. So there you have it. Oobleck is not really an optimal fuel to use in your water rockets. Thanks for watching. See you next time.